and the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! And you know what that means. It's time for the Toy News Acts for Your News of the Week that interested me and hopefully interests you in a tale of two weeks. As last week, pretty quiet. This week, back on the saddle, back on the horse. Very busy Toy News this week, and we're going to get into all that here in a little bit. But it is Father's Day weekend. Shout out to all the fathers out there, including my dad. My dad's probably watching this video. Shout out to him. And this week, we got something special. Most of you guys probably don't remember this, but I did make mention of this. And Father's Day is here. It is the perfect time, Sunday, Father's Day. I am going to release a little special video early for Patreon, of course. But it is the lost tape of me and my dad unboxing the Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein Jada toys. We filmed this video almost a year ago, maybe a year ago at this point, almost to the T. For whatever reason, never put it up on the channel. It was kind of forgotten. You guys know my dad retired from the channel. The saddest day in channel history at the end of the day. He uh, retired. However, this video has been there ready to go. So I'm going to post that to Patreon early and it will be out there for Father's Day. So we got one last run with my dad. About a half hour video. It's been so long. I don't even remember what the video was about, but a half hour. So be on the lookout for that. Of course, Sunday, Father's Day Sunday. And those that are celebrating, those that are fathers, shout out to you for Father's Day. That'll be a little Father's Day special here on the channel. Always good to have my dad, even if it was from a year ago. Always good to have him here on the channel as well. A little more housekeeping, Patreon, the monthly giveaway, the month of June, my birthday month, month have I mentioned that? June 25th, mark your calendars. <laughs> Maybe not, but Matt and Nick Jackson right here, Walmart exclusive. This is the June giveaway on my Patreon channel. Check out the link in the description below. So much bonus stuff on the Patreon. It is the best way to support this YouTube channel, as you guys know by now. So we got that going on over there. And of course, my book available on Barnes & Noble and Amazon. I got more hardcover editions of this coming in. Uh, $100 through me. So it's $135 uh, plus shipping, I think, through Barnes & Noble. You can get them from me for $100. I can autograph it, do whatever you want. I got a few more copies coming in. So if you want one, reach out ASAP. I will have those ready to go. But now, let's dive into the toy news and let's start with wrestling. Let's start with Mattel. Mattel, you've been lying dormant. Here's a little bit of releases here. And we saw some pretty on-card images of things that were coming with a couple of surprises. We're going to dive into it. We're going to go to Ringside. Ringside got their big 4th of July sale going on right now. Save 10% with code Kyle. You guys know the drill by now. But they did put up images of Ringside from the Vault exclusive Series 2. Of course, re-releases, a little bit of updates, little tweaks here and there. Going over on Ringside, they are exclusives coming, I think, early fall, maybe August, September time frame. We'll see what happens there. But we did see Paul Heyman, and a lot of people kind of groaned a little bit because we just got that three-pack from Amazon not that long ago. It is that figure again. However, we have two extra head sculpts with Paul Heyman. You can truly choose your own Paul Heyman adventure. And Paul Heyman, a guy you need multiples of anyways, you can put one with Brock Lesnar, put one with Roman Reigns, put one with CM Punk. Choose your own Paul Heyman adventure. I might have to pick up one or two more of these just to have with the different heads, different hands. You can really mix them up, make them feel a little bit different. So that is a slam dunk. That's what I want to see out of these re-released figures. Give us an extra head with it. Give us extra hands. Obviously, the articulation is better, but this is a prime example of what I'm looking for in something like this. Carrying on, we got Eddie Guerrero back from the old school Legends line. A lot of people have been wanting this one. A grail for many people for many years. Now we're getting a second chance at that one. Updated articulation, updated hands, uh, title belt on that as well. We got Diesel, possibly my favorite Mattel Diesel. I'd have to go back. I think I might have done that list on the channel Thursdays. Cheap plug for those top five, top ten lists. Uh, Diesel looking really, really good here. You get the Intercontinental title and Tag Team title. Pair him up with Shawn Michaels, and you're off to the old races. Speaking of Shawn Michaels, we're getting him once again. He was a former ringside exclusive eight years ago. I don't even know how long it's been at this point. But a very iconic looking Shawn Michaels back into circulation via the Vault Series 2. And once again, what's old is new again. We got another former ringside collectible exclusive in The Undertaker as Kane. I bought two of these way back when so I could display kind of both versions. 
Well, I'm gonna have to figure out a way for a third version now, so I'm gonna make it as different as I possibly can. We'll figure it out on the channel, I'm sure. And back again, Rikishi, they love him in the Greatest Hits line and now the Vault line, getting another version of Rikishi here. I guess the Bloodline's hot, might as well strike and get Rikishi back in the mix. And then we finished up with the Road Dog, Billy, Gun Billy Gunn, of course, the New Age Outlaws. Two former Hall of Champion Target exclusives back in the day. Wish we could have got different heads or something with them. We'll just have to make do with a shirt on, shirt off, different hands. Make them as different as possible, once again, as I always do say. So thought that was really cool to see those uh, pictures. Uh, I feel a little bit better about the line. You guys know my stance on these re-releases. I don't hate them. I don't love them. I'm somewhere in the middle. Uh, but I like what I see here as far as at least we can tweak some things, make them feel different. That's what's important to me. Uh, give us a uh, longtime collectors, a little bit of a caveat, a little bit of something to put our own little tweak on it. So I do like what I saw with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the clock. Breaking in here a little bit later in the day as a little bit more wrestling figure news came, including it looks like it is finally out there. It is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive for WWE this year, 2024. Now, I'm not going to be breaking the news here just like last year. I might give a hint or two in this little video, but I don't feel like it's my place to totally spoil it. Uh, so you'll hear more about it this week, let's just say there. And it could very well be the ultimate exclusive. You never know what it might be. Uh, could be a surprise. We've had a lot of surprises over the last couple of years. I will tell you, I thought it would be the Tuxedo Hulk Hogan 40 Years of Hulkamania. Unfortunately, that is not the case. So there's one clue there. It is definitely not that, and it's not Hulkster related either, which I'm really shocked at they wouldn't do something Hulk Hogan. But here we are. But there will be, once again, an ultimate exclusive. Ultimate of some kind. It could be huge in proportions. It could be real small. You never know what it might be. It also could be full of heartbreak and disappointment. You know, it could be heartbreak and disappointment. Nobody likes that, especially in the action figure game. Or it could be the greatest thing ever. But it could be heartbreak, disappointment. Who knows what it could be. But we'll find out as we zip into it, like we're on a zip line or something, on the 20th of June. That is when we will get the full reveal from Mattel and everybody else. So much more to come. Stay tuned this week. There'll be a lot to talk about, uh, but it is the exclusive for San Diego Comic-Con right around the corner. And I'm actually shocked we didn't hear more about it ahead of time, but here it is. We'll have it this week. So more to come on that next week on the channel. How about that? However, we're not done with the wrestling news. Turtles and wrestling go hand in hand, as we do know. Everybody loves turtle wrestlers. Uh, where's that NECA four pack? You'll probably see that at San Diego Comic Con as well. However, we do have Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio, Series 2 of the Turtles WWE Event of a Target Lifetime. Uh, we do have pictures of those. So we did see Series 1 a while back. Now we're seeing Series 2. Makes you feel like both those series are going to almost ship at the same time. I guess we'll see what happens there. But uh, right around the corner, once again, once you start seeing pretty promotional images, we do know they're around the corner. And I'm sure we'll see these at San Diego Comic-Con as well. So there's a little late-breaking news. Speaking of liking what I saw, Ringside also put out images. Mattel, I guess we should say, but Ringside too. Uh, Survivor Series. The new Build-A-Figure, of course, is Adam Pierce. Very timely. Of course, the Raw General Manager. Got to think Nick Aldis will be in our future sometime. Probably next year. Maybe we'll see him at San Diego Comic-Con. You never know. But... Uh, we are getting the Bushwhackers back in the saddle again, like a young Aerosmith is what Bushwhackers is. Something like 14 years in between. Is that the longest re uh, release in betweens? I know our truth had one for a long time in between, but now we're getting the Bushwhackers. Honestly, in the package, I don't mind it. I like, once again, hey, we have very similar Bushwhackers from back in the day. You get the updated bells and whistles, but you get the Doink the Clown heads, which I think is very cool. To me, I need two sets of these, one for traditional Bushwhackers, one for the Doink Bushwhackers. Uh, but I do wish the heads were flipped back and forth. I wish it had traditional Bushwhacker heads out of the package. Maybe that's just me, but I wonder who made that final decision on that one. I feel like the Bushwhackers is should be by their uh, normal looks, and then you have the clown head off to the side. But that's me, whatever. We're getting them. I'm opening it up. doesn't really matter anyways. And then we get Sami Zayn back from his time in the bloodline, so we get that. And then we get a Kevin Owens, and I usually don't get too excited about Kevin Owens figures. They're kind of a paint by numbers, just new t-shirt, that's basically all it is. Maybe a new head scan every once in a while. But this time, we get him in kind of his dusty Rhodes gear, his dusty tribute. I like how different that is. You know me, I love difference in figures, so I think that is really cool. Uh, I really like the looks of that Kevin Owens one. So that one, we got the pretty promotional images. To me, that means probably sometime, maybe end of June, definitely July, we'll probably see these in hand. So we'll see what happens with those, but very exciting. And speaking of seeing what happens, Monday Night Wars, the bane of many out there, 
Once again, I have to thank David C. Anderson. He helped me out finishing that set. He found some stuff on a travel. Now I'm looking to help him out and get those figures back to him. So hopefully I come across those or he comes across them in the next couple of weeks from Series 2. But Series 3, already hitting Walmarts in California and I think uh, Arizona maybe. I think somebody said they found uh, The Rock out there. So... Monday Night Wars Series 3 right around the corner as well. We had pre-orders for those, as we do remember. So those pre-orders going to come soon, Walmart. What are we doing? What are we doing? Todd on the couch, Mark Summers, any clue on that? No? Mark, I'm hearing some issues out around the corner. Can you take care of this? What, what the heck's going on around the corner? Last week, you had to escort a bunch of kids out into the interstate. What's going around the corner today? Remember that the feed goes on. Pretty soon they come to see your song. If you can't stop dancing, just because of you. that go on in this house this residence i don't know what i do without mark summers these days he is really becoming my muscle but who knows what's going on in that attorney room you guys know my master's universe room there's all kinds of commotion two weeks in a row mark let's keep this place on lockdown a little bit better these kids these days they're wild they're wild in the streets and they're wild in the attorney room that's what's going on but kudos to mark summers for at least taking care of the situation todd just keep sitting there wiggling your toes that's all we need out of you right now now we're turning our attention from Mattel. We're going to a little retro toy news. We did see, once again, we've talked about in the last couple of weeks on the channel, Top Rope Collectibles. They did show uh, their PN News kind of prototype right next there against the Steiner Brothers. For you Galoob diehards, you can kind of see that comparison there. So we're going to keep following it. We're going to see what they're up to. Can't wait to see what these Galoob style figures go into. But we're not done there. We got Alfred Hayes. Uh, grapplers and gimmicks, of course, the retro Alfred Hayes. Uh, a little bit of hubbub this week about on the lapel. Like, lapel? Well, I don't know what you call it. But he's got the, instead of the WWE logo, grapplers and gimmicks logo. Uh, I know the Major Pod's not a big fan of that. They said, hey, I see what he's doing. I'm in the same boat. I see what he's doing. That makes sense, kind of. But I think most of us, myself included, would rather just have that plane. Don't put that logo on there. I think it takes away and it feels too different to me. I don't know. One man's opinion, once again. Uh, but anxious for an Alfred Hayes. Give me a judo Alfred Hayes, Mitch. We need one of him in the future, too. Let's get that done. Uh, but we'll see. we got Alfred Hayes coming to the Grapplers and Gimmicks line. And then our good friends at FTC, you know, a year plus ago, they promised new articulated style figures. And they kind of dipped their toes into that with that referee. I reviewed it on the channel. I wasn't blown away by it. But we're getting a little bit of a follow-up here as we're getting a female referee with those black gloves on. She's ready to tend to some blood if she needs to. We're also getting an MMA referee. Interesting enough. I guess maybe those will go with the Todd McFarlane MMA figures coming from UFC. He said, sure, go for it until he makes one. We'll see what happens with Todd. Always keeping you guessing from the couch. And we'll talk more Todd later on in this very video, of course. We've got an MMA referee. And then we got a generic security guard, which probably interests me the most. We've got some referees at this point between Mattel and AEW. Uh, I don't know about the UFC referee if I really need that in my collection. But I can see some security guards maybe keeping things going on, like a young Mark Summers. Wish they had a Mark Summers head for it. Would be nice, but yeah, you can beg all day and you don't always get what you want. But maybe one day, Mark Summers, we'll get an action figure of you. We'll get a custom at least. we got to get a Mark Summers figure. We'll see what happens. Uh, but we got those coming from FTC. I don't know. I'd be interested to hear from you guys in the comments if you're picking up any of those. I'd really like to see them start making like the Midnight Express and things like that that they have license to. Jim Cornette, at least getting us something in that better style of figure than the uh, deluxe aggression ruthless aggression hybrid figures they've been doing the last couple of years but we'll keep an eye on it we will we'll do that and then uh, we're not done though with ftc they did release two different caskets of course ftc's always released a lot of playing stuff for you players out there a lot of that we got two caskets with kind of the base you can have your own funeral at home you know a funeral for a friend you want to bury superman I remember when I was a kid, I used to play with my G.I. Joes. Guys would die, and they'd have funerals right there, you know, on the battlefield. It would be great for that. You could put Duke in the coffin. You know, oh, Duke took the Serpentor stick. Uh, he took that right into his heart. Let's just throw him in that casket and get the burial done immediately. That's what I would have done if I was over there. But uh, you, you live and you learn, I guess. But we do have that. You can build your own funeral parlor with Paul Bearer and Undertaker. You can choose your own casket adventure at the end of the day. But FTC coming in with some of that going on. We do know next week, the 20th of June, dangerously close to my birthday. Have I mentioned that this month in videos? Uh, we got that around the corner. We got One Man Gang. We got Power and Glory. We got Slick. And we got Jack Tunney keeping it all on the low down there. We do have that from Zombie Sailor about immediate ship. So shipping within like a week or two of order. 
uh, the 20th of June, 8 p.m. Eastern, I think is the time frame. So be on the lookout for those. If you're after some retros, you're after some Zombie Sailor, this is your week here. So those are coming quick. And then a little bit of a surprise action we finished wrestling news with here on this uh, wrestling or toy news of the week. But we did get a little Map Maniacs, seems to be the company. And Road Warriors and Steiner Brothers, and I would say at this point Hasbro retro style figure form. Uh, went on Instagram, a little teaser video, more stuff to come soon. But these do look pretty nice. And you start with the Steiner Brothers and the Road Warriors Legion of Doom. Those are some big, big heavy hitters that are going to grab wrestling figure uh, fans' attention, including mine, of course. So I'm anxious to see where this ends up going. As of right now, we don't know anything more than what we know in the pictures. But looking pretty cool in the foggy images. You go to the Instagram page and kind of see some things that maybe how they will look. And I got those pictures up here. Should be very interesting. It'll be interesting to see who they can sign, who they will have. Much, much more to come on these in the future. So another wrestling figure line out there. How many can the, the game support? Some are going to last. Some are going to fall. It's going to be like Transformers the movie, Megatron, uh, Optimus Prime is what it's going to end up being, I think. So we'll see what happens uh, as we carry on with more toy lines, more wrestling figure lines. Uh, every single day it seems at this point but now we transition to a few other things going on this week and i don't know if anybody saw this it's definitely worth the watch hasbro pulse the youtube channel put up the dragonfly unboxing this week it is yojo june my birthday month once again very good of course they go like peanut butter and jelly together gi joe and myself but very excited to see this dragonfly man this thing's big where am i going to put that this whole time i'm like where am I going to put this? It's getting dangerously close to release. It's going to release in the next couple of months. I got to start working a game plan is what I got to start doing. But we did see everything. They went through it. All kinds of stickers. You can choose your own sticker adventure. Hasbro, I don't want to choose my sticker adventure. I want just one sticker. Make it easy for me. I don't want to make any wrong decisions. So that's going to be interesting. Might have to call my dad over for stickers. And my dad needs sticker help. It's like it's 1984 all over again. I need the help. I don't know what I'm doing. I got these little hands. Who knows? Uh, but we'll see what ends up happening with the Dragonfly, but a couple months out. But man, it's coming at us. It's coming at us pretty furious. We also saw the figures. They unboxed those as well. It's funny, you put a little time in between uh, the you know solicitation, the pre-order for that thing, and you kind of forget, oh my gosh, I forgot we have all these figures coming with this as well, and there's a lot of figures. So that's going to be quite the unboxing. We'll probably unbox the figures separate, the Dragonfly separate. That's kind of how we have to do those things, or we'll just have like a two-hour video. I don't know what we'll do, but very excited to see the Dragonfly flying around my house. Going to be an interesting time there. So check out that video if you're on the fence. And I guess you can be on the fence, so you have to go to eBay to get it, but if you want to see more about the Dragonfly, Go over to the, your YouTube channel there. Of course, the retro G.I. Joes went up for pre-order this week. Man, I was a man on the road. I was doing five-hour presentations every single day this week and then driving three and a half hours in between locations back and forth. I'm tired. I was a man on the road like you wouldn't believe it. I almost missed these retro figures in my pre-order. Luckily, I did get that. Of course, we got the Mad Marauders, Sergeant Slaughter's Marauders. We got those around the corner for pre-orders next week as well. So a lot going on in Yojo June, as we do know. Hopefully, you grab the figures you need, and hopefully, you carry on the rest of the month getting the figures you do need. Uh, but then we got to talk about it again. Night Stalker goes up this week. So a lot of new stuff going up for pre-order this week. We got, of course, Masters of the Universe, Night Stalker, Mattel Creations exclusive. Our artwork looks absolutely fabulous on this one. Absolutely breathtaking. Love the artwork for the Masters of the Universe. Love the artwork for this one. Very, very fun figure. Or very, I guess, I guess it's kind of a figure. It's an animal, kind of. Uh, but you know what I mean. A steed. We'll call it a steed. We got that going on there. So if you want that, this week on Mattel Creations. Now we turn our attention over to Super 7. Super 7, the highs and lows of the toy business, as we do know. Uh, some amazing stuff and some stuff missing the mark. Uh, some interesting times. But I'll tell you, if you're not getting these figures, you're not ordering during the solicitation, I'm seeing it myself. I'm Mr. Hot Off the Truck. I'm Mr. Kind of Wait and Try to Save 10%. You're not seeing a lot of stuff going to that. The order is becoming the order. Retailers are not ordering extra or very, very small amounts of extra. And people are missing out on some stuff. So you got to be careful out there. Know what you're doing. Uh, the days of getting these for $20, I think, are done. And a lot of people say, oh, I'll wait for the clearance. Well, you're going to be really disappointed when there's no clearance. That's what I'm. my gut's telling me. And that's what I'm seeing with my very own eyes right now. We'll see. We'll see what happens in the future. More to come on that. But we did see something I've been wanting for a long time. And talk about getting the most out of your molds. Of course, Toxic Avengers, uh, Super 7 Toxic Avenger Ultimate Editions. We've seen this mold numerous times, but this time we're actually getting it from the movie. And that's where I cut my teeth on the Toxic Avenger. I remember watching it on USA back all the time. It was on movies at night and stuff like that. 
So now we're getting an actual action figure of that painted like that. That's a must have for me. Just very it speaks to watching that as a kid. Very, very cool to see Toxie in another repaint. Yeah, another repaint. I know, I know. A lot of people not down on that, but I'm here for it just because it is the movie edition. But the big news this week, of course, for fans of this channel and myself, Super 7 Thundercats, the latest wigs, wave. We got Robert Bill, of course, for the burbles. Oh, everybody loves a burble, don't they? Don't they? Eh, maybe not, but we got one of those. Luna and Amok, that's going to be the heavy hitter expensive two-pack, if you want to call it that, but deluxe pack going to be a big one there. We saw Claudius, of course. Claudius, I know more from the later series than the older series. Obviously, he was in both, but he had a lot bigger presence in the newer series than he did the old series, at least in my opinion. But we got Claudius, and then we got the Thundarian Guard. You can put those against your Reptilians if you want to. So you get a little bit good guy, Army Builder. Super 7 Smart to give us different weapons, different heads, so you can buy a couple. I pre-ordered two of them. That's why I said, oh, I'd really like three like they showed in the picture, but I'm going to roll with two at least as of right now. But very exciting to get a new wave of Thundercats. We're really deep in the Thundercats, a lot deeper than you think. And we all know Cat's Lair right around the corner. Cat Slayer, Dragonfly, oh my gosh, a wild time here coming up this fall. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel, as one may say. But now we turn our attention to one Todd McFarlane on the couch. Oh my gosh. Todd McFarlane, wiggle your toes if you're happy. Wiggle your toes if you're mad. Oh, no toe wiggling. He's in good spirits over there. It's Father's Day. I want to wish you a happy Father's Day, Todd McFarlane. And Mark Summers, never forget you either. Never forget you. Uh, jewel of the couch is what you are, Mark Summers. Uh, Mark Summers has really been stealing my heart. He treats me a lot nicer than Todd McFarlane. But we're diving into Todd McFarlane right now. And Todd coming in hot this week. The Geek Out Fest over there at Target on Friday. Lots of pre-orders going up. Some good, some bad, some ugly. I guess it depends where you sit. And we know where Todd sits over on the end of the couch with his arms slinged over there and the toes wiggling. It's a wild time. But Todd came out with the animated Batmobile, of course, from the Batman animated series. We've seen these a bit of as a Target exclusive. I don't know. I didn't pre-order it. I might wait for the store. Same thing with that Joker Mobile hitting the stores right now. Don't know if I need those in my collection. We'll see what's happening. But there's a lot of people that love themselves a Batmobile. So I can see people jumping in on that one, of course. We also saw the Punchline Joker 2-pack re-released, however, with an autograph trading card. So a little bit different. I didn't have to jump on that. I don't need the autograph card. I only want your autograph, Todd. And yours too, Mark, of course. But Todd, that's all I want. So if Todd's autograph's not on it, I don't need it. I already have it pre-ordered from a couple of months ago, a month ago, what is time. The Punchline Joker, another release for that one if you're into that thing. A two-pack of people, I have no idea who they are. Rookie and Mr. Bloom looks very cool. And that's one thing I really enjoy about the DC Multiverse McFarlane line. It reminds me in some ways as a little kid collecting the toy biz, I learned about a lot of characters through the toys. Now I know all my Marvel characters for the most part. Obviously there's a lot, uh, but I don't know my DC characters, the deep ones, as well as my Marvel. So it's fun to kind of find that out via the figures like I used to when I was a kid with Toy Biz. So it makes a fun, fun little learning experience, Todd, is what it does. And we do got this rookie and Mr. Bloom. No idea. I guess we'll find out in uh, the, when we unbox them on the channel. And then we got two single releases. Fire, I believe part of the Justice League, right? I, I think so. And then Metallo, a Superman villain, an old-timey Superman villain. Got some kryptonite inside him. We got him coming as well. So if you're looking for some of those McFarlands, Target's the place for those. But we're not done. We did see the new collector's edition from McFarland. He started rolling those out this week. We've seen those. Those are the $30 price point ones. Kyle Peterson 2.0. If you're not watching 2.0, you're missing out on so much Mark Summers, so much Todd McFarlane. It would make your head spin every single day over there. They're helping out with that channel. Really co-hosting the channel at this point over there. But we unboxed a lot of those, and we unboxed the Penguin Friday. Should hopefully have the uh, Chase Penguin Platinum. Sorry, Todd. Sorry. Platinum Penguin all around the corner. We'll unbox that over there as well. So be on the lookout for that. But we did see the Batman Manga. We did see Sergeant Rock and Connor Kent, the next wave. A pretty weak wave, all, th wave, all things considered. We also saw the Platinum Editions of them, and the Platinum Edition is pretty weak as well. Sergeant Rock, kind of cool, and that Army Green Man kind of thing. I see what they're going for there. Sergeant Rock, a little bit of a G.I. Joe feel. I've seen some people on some G.I. Joe boards saying, well, I'm going to put that with my Joes. Man, that's not going to scale at all, unfortunately. But so far out of those uh, collector's edition line, to me, in my opinion, sorry, Todd, hate to say it, the weakest of the bunch so far. So we'll see. I'll be picking those up. Sergeant Rock interests me the most. I actually like the Batman manga uh, platinum edition more than the regular edition. And we just actually got that figure part of the superpowers line, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so we're getting that back out there, but this time in the bigger, more uh, universal McFarland scale, we'll call it. But Todd coming in hot this week. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff going on. But we're not done. We are in the home stretch, though, of the toy news this week. Radioactive 
Chester Cheetah from, of course, of course, Jada Toys, Jada Toys, whatever you want to say. We unboxed the regular Chester Cheetah over on Kyle Peterson 2.0. Probably going to get the glow-in-the-dark translucent one. You know me, it is technically the Flaming Hot Cheeto. And if I'm going to have Cheetos, I'm having Flaming Hot Cheetos. However, for my uh, wallet, and you guys wanting to support the channel like you do, buy the Takis. Buy the Takis. That Takis are way better than Cheetos. Come on, guys. Come on. Get the Takis. Try these new Buck and Ranch. You had these yet? These Buck and Ranch? Uh, I'll send you guys some samples. You'll enjoy it. You'll love it. There it is. But shout out to Takis there. Uh, let's get some Takis figures. I don't know. I can be the Takis guy. How about that? Uh, we've got Radioactive Chester Cheetah. It looks really cool. Obviously getting the most out of your molds. We'll see how that one does. Releasing uh, later this summer, it sounds like there. We also saw from our friends over at the Valiverse, of course, uh, Action Force Series 5 pre-order up right now. Some kind of A-team style designs. You know me, I love an A-team. I truly love it when a plan comes together, like most of us do. We do got Action Force out there. So if Action Force is your thing, you're looking to put those with your Joes, some of that other stuff. You can get your pre-order in right now at all usual places. Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. Of course, Entertainment Earth, use discount code KYLE. You know the drill by now. Uh, we also saw from Marvel Legends, one I immediately said, don't need it, already have the build to figure it is the man thing. However, there's a few tweaks in there. It might make me a little itchy when it does come to release time. Might play a little long game on this one because really, I don't need two man things in my collection. I need multiple swamp things in my collection, but man things... Probably only one, but I might do two if I can get a deal. We'll see what happens, as you always got to get a deal, as you guys do know. But man, thing pre-order right now. And then we're going to finish as of right now. Of course, I have to film these on Fridays. You never know what might happen after I film these. But the last bit of news, we're back to San Diego Comic-Con with NECA. Last week, we talked a little bit of Flash Gordon and some things. Predator, eh, didn't do anything for me. I was passing on both of those. However, this week's announcement, picking up both of these. We're going, I want to say Universal Monster, but not technically, but it is Nosferatu, and it is the glow-in-the-dark version of Nosferatu. Once again, sucker for glow-in-the-dark, got the glow-in-the-dark room, I'm working on it, working on a glow-in-the-dark room, Nosferatu would be pretty pretty in there, so we got Nosferatu glow-in-the-dark uh, edition coming. Uh, it's, if you're into it, you're into it, if you're not, you're not, it's a perfect San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, I do admit. And speaking of San Diego Comic-Con, we also got another ALF, so we got Comic-Con ALF last year, now we get Superhero ALF this year. I'm sensing a little bit of a theme is what I'm sensing there uh, but it's always good to get a new ALF figure there and it'll be interesting to see how much different is some of the other ALFs but two slam dunks as far as con exclusives can't wait to see what we got for turtles and some of the other varieties and some of the other properties uh, coming probably next week we'll probably find out because is it June 24th, 25th, 26th? I believe the pre-orders for those are going up. Uh, if you're not making San Diego Comic-Con, you can pre-order them at least. So more to come on that. More figures probably next week as well. But that is the toy news. That is the action figure news of the week. Now we turn our attention to album of the week. All right, time for the album of the week. And the album of the week is one I go way back to the 90s with. And it, this week is it finally getting an official release. This has never officially been released before. However, like I said, I had a copy in the 90s. It is Paul McCartney and Wings. Yes, yeah, shout out to Wings. It is Paul McCartney and Wings. It is One Hand Clapping, a very famous performance that uh, you know was supposed to come out and never did. Got into bootlegging circles back in the 90s, 80s. I had a video of this. I had a CD of this way back when. Long story how I got that. Maybe one day for the channel. However, it was quite the show, quite the concert, and it was a live concert in studio. So something a little bit different. A lot of good songs on there. Soily, you ever heard Soily? Oh, always stole my heart even as a little kid. Love that rendition. Just a very fun album from Paul McCartney and Wings. Very underrated all these years later. Everybody talks about the Beatles. A lot of people talk Paul Solo, of course, in this day and age. Still touring, as we do know. But that time with Wings, there are some huge hits out there. And Back to the Egg by Wings is one of my all-time favorite albums. Deep, deep cut, the final Wings album, but a great one. And a lot of good stuff from McCartney over the years. Always been a McCartney fan. Uh, love a lot of those albums. And One Hand Clapping was really a good one. Sad it never got released officially way back when, but very cool it is officially released now. And I had to listen to that this morning. Really took me back to when I first heard that. You know, it was very famed. Everybody was like, oh, this is... This is his opus. This is the thing. And now it's officially out there for everybody to hear if they want to. Or if they don't want to, they might have to hear it. But One Hand Clapping, Paul McCartney, and Wings, Album of the Week this week. So there it is. That's the toy news. That's the action figure news on this Father's Day weekend. 
Very, very busy time. Have to imagine we're going to hear about more exclusives ramping up to San Diego Comic-Con. A lot going on with San Diego Comic-Con as well. Saw the Major Bendy's. The Major Pod crew is going to be out there. They did get approved for a panel, so I'm sure I'll be at that panel supporting them, checking out, seeing what's going on, uh, talking to the guys and checking out some of this stuff. And they will have an exclusive for San Diego Comic-Con. And uh, from what I'm hearing... When I'm here, and it's going to be a popular one. So I think a lot of us will be very interested when that official announcement comes out. So stay tuned for that here in the next uh, couple of weeks, give or take. We'll see what happens. But there it is, Toy News, Action Figure News of the Week. What excited you? What are you excited for? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. we got videos every single day. Patreon, we got the giveaway going on, plus tons of other stuff. Truly the best way to support the channel and all the content. ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. The book over at Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Pick up the old complete guide to the Jax Class Superstars. Series by yours truly. Social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. And on Instagram. So for another week of toy news, you know what I'm doing? I'm rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling my way into Father's Day weekend.